Marty Lentz. I was, you know, you try to turn that name into Lance. When you see it, <laughs> it's Lentz. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor and uh, the board members. I'm, my name is Marty Lentz. I've lived in Camarillo for about uh, 16, 17 years. I love the community, and I'm here um, as a senior wanting a new uh, senior center. Uh, I have a petition here that uh, over uh, 250 people signed from the senior center from all different activities, and I'd like to uh, read the petition. Uh, we, the undersigned, respectfully request that the Camarillo City Council and the Pleasant Valley Park and Recreation Department work in conjunction with each other towards the goal of building a new senior center in which our community can take pride. Uh, there is a mechanism for this to happen. So it's called the Joint Power of Authority. And my hope is that uh, you would work in conjunction with the park, park and Recreation and contribute, hopefully maybe, um, you know, build the senior center and, and that the park and rec recreation would maintain it. Uh, the park and rec recreation knows they, they can't build a senior center themselves. Their budget is about $8 million. They just built one, a senior center in Agora, which costs $6 million. So they, they just can't possibly do that themselves. The city has already uh, shown an interest in helping the seniors. In your uh, website, uh, uh, you developed uh, the city concept of aging. Uh, City Council of Aging, and I'll read the first statement. It says, recognizing the seniors are a significant and vital segment of the city's population. We're 23 percent. And also under the budget summary in the website, it says statements like this, provide safe and uh, uh, enriched environment where people can live, work, and play. I think that could include a new senior center. Uh, why do we need a new senior center? It's overcrowded. The uh, bingo is overcrowded. The bridge game is overcrowded. Exercise Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is overcrowded. The art class is overcrowded. And, um, and uh, um, <laughs> that made me nervous. And um, <laughs> we, uh, um, we don't have a computer room. The pool room small. And if you want to look at state uh, of arts, uh, uh, is that you can look at the Thousand Oaks Senior Center. They, they have a fantastic one, but they, they do, um, and so they told me they didn't, they couldn't have done it without the park and recreation and the uh, city council working together. So I hope you can uh, help us have an environment that the seniors can work and play and enjoy in a new senior center. And I have a petition which I would like to hand in. Thank you. Sure, no problem. Uh, <laughs> one of the things you need to know is we built the one they have now. The city did. Uh -huh. It used to be a teen center? It was teen center that turned into the, the senior yeah, center. We appreciate it, but it's, and we just need, we'll I, all grow. No, I understand. Oh. The only thing is we have talked to them about, we haven't heard anything from them of, of a proposal or anything. Oh, I see. But if you want to talk to the park and rec and see if they can come back and talk Your to Honor? us, Bill. I think, I, th I think it would be appropriate for you to present that petition to them because there's, they're the ones who've got to start the ball rolling. Oh, I will. And we have, uh, we have met, as the mayor said, we've met with them. We've indicated our interest in helping. But it's been, come two, back. it's been two and a half years since that That's a happened. copy, so I got one for them. Yeah, they haven't come back forward to talk to us since we said just I, let us I know. I do understand means. that they put some money in the budget this year for planning. Mm. Now, where it is, I have no idea. No. I'll talk to them. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Charlotte? Yes, uh, it's been about two years since we met with them. A uh, joint meeting of their board and our city council. And I think it's time that we request another uh, meeting, another joint meeting, so that we can discuss this and other issues as well. Uh, may I suggest, uh, since they are working on their, uh, their needs assessment, might be more timely to meet after they do the assessment? How long do they expect that will take? And let us know when they do that. I think they're going to be out on the street pretty soon, aren't they, Joe? They're That's going the out with an RFP within the next month or so, so right. it's probably going to be started. a few more months before they even get started. Yeah. Okay. So and then here for, to finish it or what? I what don't know their time at? frame for completion. A couple months. It's a survey type, pro uh, a survey and focus group type process. So you'll keep us in touch. Yeah, we'll okay. keep you informed. Thank you. Sounds like a long time. Any other questions? Any other comments? 
Uh, so we're waiting for the Park and Rec to give us their needs so we can work, see if, what we can do to work with them. Just, can I make just one comment? Yes, and I'm hoping that this won't drag out too long here because, you know, exactly. it has a tendency to drag out here. Yeah. Well, we made mention two years ago, we're ready to listen to what they, 